Today I'm motorized how to get down a steep hill on your bike without fading your brakes, without crashing and without dying. Stick around. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Branko and this is Motolized, the channel for all your biker hungers and needs. If you haven't already, please check out my other videos and subscribe. Coming down to the bottom of the mountain and looking up a mountain road with all its curves and all its glory can be quite overwhelming and you think oh my god this is so cool I'm gonna get off that mountain and you twist that throttle and you just get up and going up the hill is so easy as soon as you let go of the gas the bike slows down you lean in the curve and the gravity helps you lean in and maintain all that all that momentum and then you get up to the top of the mountain and you start going down and you realize that you've bitten more than you can chew <laughs> does this sound familiar suddenly you smell that thing what is it is it my clutch is it my brakes chances are it's your rear brakes and this is the first common mistake that people do going downhill is using way too much rear brake rear brakes are not set up to slow you down or to stop you especially going downhill because most of the weight of your bike is on the front and your rear tire is set up to propel you forward if you look at the threads on your tires front and back you'll see that they're in different directions that's because the rear tire is set up to propel you forward and the front tire is set up to slow you down and give you traction while cornering now that means that you have to use your front brake the front brake you get usually bigger discs bigger brake pads you now more stopping power but not everybody is comfortable with the trail braking and modulating the front brake it's usually just grab the front brake and get into a full stop well this is something you need to practice how do you do this you do it by slowing down sufficiently coming into a curve it's very common you will go downhill hairpin you need to turn left now you're going downhill or your weight is up front and the centrifugal force when you're leaning it also wants to pull you down so you really need to actually not be in the first gear and no power you need to be in second gear and feather the clutch when you're going through a hairpin and then stay on that front brake yeah you are on that front brake always you're slowing down pressing the brake you're speeding up you're opening up yeah so slow down up down up right so that covers the brakes and the turning now the third thing is you need to keep your weight back so when you sit on a bike if you have a bike that you can stand up, when you stand up, push yourself backwards and keep some weight on, on the rear. Even yourself out, that's gonna make it easier for you to maneuver left and right. And remember, keep trail braking, keep slowing down. Don't let go completely of the front brake going through the turns because your bike is just gonna pick up speed, straighten out and take you out. How was that? How was that? Did you learn something? <laughs> All right, see you next time. Ciao, ciao.